what's going on guys welcome back to the channel lone wolf 902 in today's video we're going to be having a look at another hot tent this one's coming from my good friends over at pamali excellent quality beautiful design let's have a look at the outside of the tent and go over a few key features all right guys so coming over to the side of the tent you can clearly see that it's designed off of a military style tent known as the baker tent okay all the way around the tent, it has a nice snow skirt stitched into the fabric, which is very common on all Pomali tents. They have this very nice snow skirt. You can pile snow on top of it in the wintertime, or you can leave it open like I like doing. Um, it does have multiple points of entry, okay? So you can enter on the side panel. There's two zippers that run all the way up, and you can open it. Same on the other side of the tent, or you can open from either end of the tent, okay? So there are zippers at the middle portion at the end, so you can open half the door, or you can open the whole end and enter lengthwise, or you can enter sideways. So I'm gonna go ahead and unzip this door panel. We'll flop it open, and then we'll have a look at the stove jack and the mesh inner that I actually have currently installed in there right now as well. All right, guys, I got the door rolled up and toggled into these toggles up here. Very useful. And right here, you can see the, the mesh inner is installed, like I was just saying. Uh, I want to talk about the stove jack first. Let's just get that out of the way. So you can see the stove jack is located right here, just above the Pomali logo. There's one stove jack in this tent. Go ahead, unvelcro it. This is the same stove jack that they use in all of their hot tents. It is incredibly durable. It is permanently fixed to the tent. I love this stove jack, okay? So I'm gonna roll this flap back. It does have a toggle here, so you can roll it back and keep it out of the way. So I'm just gonna do that and get it up out of the way. All right, guys, I got the flap to the stove jack pinned up and secured out of the way. I'm gonna be talking about that in just a minute. I wanna talk about the floor on this mesh inner first. This stuff is very durable. It is 100% waterproof, it's seam taped. It's durable enough that you do not need another pad or another sheet underneath of it to protect your pad. It actually stops punctures from coming through and it's, it offers a lot of protection to your pad, it really does. Same with the TP style mesh inners from Pomali as well. Now, let's crawl in here just a little bit. It does have the mesh up here toggled. It's a very generous door. As you can see, the zipper goes all the way around. The identical door on the other side, okay? So it does have two points of entry to the tent and the mesh inner, both on the sides. There's no access to the mesh inner on the lengthwise, just the sides, okay? However, you can get inside of the outer tent from the ends or both sides, okay? So just to clarify that, mesh you can get in on the sides, tent you can get in from the end. Now, where the, the mesh inner is positioned right now, basically you have two large vestibules. You have one at one end of the tent, which is tucked in over there, and then you have another large vestibule over here, which generally holds the, the area where the wood stove goes, okay? So if you are out in a time of the year like now and you do need a bug net because there's bugs everywhere, you will have loads of room to kind of store your gear inside of your tent, okay? Works really great. So this mesh inner, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out now because mesh inners are pretty straightforward. They keep the bugs out of you. Uh, it does connect at either end with a little plastic buckle, like a, like a backpack buckle that will go across your chest. So that's how it's secured up in the sides and then shot cord down on the bottom, which runs to your pegs. Okay. So I want to go ahead and get the mesh inner out and let's get the wood stove and get that set up and let's start talking hot tent. All right, guys. So now that we've got the mesh inner out of the tent and it is a very simple setup, I, I got to say it like it just, it clicks up here with the little buckle clicks up there and then you just run it to the pegs that are already in the ground holding the tent up. Okay. Very simple setup. And I should probably mention that if you are camping with the bug net and you happen to, let, let's say, you don't want any bugs getting in your bug net while you're out cooking and whatnot, you could detach it from there, detach it from here, and push it back to the side out of the way, okay? So you can use it while you're cooking and doing stuff and, and just different setups, okay? But it is very easy to take out and very easy to put back in. So right off the bat, you can see that this is the 300D Oxford fabric. It is silver lined. It is completely seam taped all the way around the tent. Very durable stuff. I, I say it every time I review one of their products. I love this fabric. It is awesome. It helps retain heat. It's silver lined. It really lights up when you have a candle lit inside. It just, it works really, really good. And as you can see, there's no light leakage through. So if you're inside with a light, the light doesn't leak out 
which kind of helps keep you concealed. So everyone that might be walking, I don't know, through the trail or through the woods, your, your tent's not gonna pop and stand out. It's just gonna blend in, which is really, really nice. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this door and we'll move to the end and we'll open up that door real quick before we get the wood stove in here. And we'll, we'll just kind of look at some of the different door configurations and how you can get in and out of the tent. Okay, so I've decided to come to the end with the stove jack just today with the sunlight. That's how it's working with me today. So there is a zipper down at the bottom here. We'll go ahead, unzip. It goes all the way up to the top, giving you access into the tent. Now there is a toggle here. We'll go ahead and we'll roll this door back and we'll get it toggled in out of the way temporarily while we kind of talk and show you the tent. Here is one of the poles. So right off the bat, you've got a pole. It's not a very large diameter pole. It's more of a smaller thin pole, which is nice because of where it is. There are two, there's one here and there's one at the other end in the same spot. Now, remember what I said about massive tent. There is a ton of room in here, okay? You can sleep three adults, no problem, plus all of the gear that you guys would be bringing out with you. Okay, so coming inside of the tent, you can see I'm right up against the pole at the back side of the tent, leaving a ton of vestibule room behind me, okay? The same thing right where the camera is situated. You got one pole, the other pole, vestibule on either end. Now, this tent is a big tent, okay? I'm not going to cover all the specs in this video. I highly recommend you go to pomali.com go through all their specs because sometimes the tents change from manufacturers and some of the details might vary. So the weight might get heavier in the next version and might get lighter. You never know. So jump on the website and check out all their other products as well. And you can find all the, the, the length, the height, all the description items in their website. Okay. It is a very large tent. I'll say that it does not pack very large. And I'm going to show that at the end of the video, once I get it over to the tabletop, but I absolutely love this, okay? There is a loop above my head with a little plastic hook. You can hang a lantern. It works very well for that, actually. So I'm gonna change camera angle. We're gonna get the wood stove and I'm gonna get that situated right over where the camera is, kind of give you guys an idea of the placement. All right, so the stove that we're gonna be using in today's video is another Pomali product. This is called the T1 Titanium Stove. I have a review on this, so if you guys are interested in having a look at that more in depth, check out the review. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get it assembled, and I'm not going to spare you guys the assembly part and all that. And uh, we'll get the stove in the tent, and then I'll show you guys a number of different angles so you can get an idea of it. And then we're going to talk about door configurations and how you can set the tent up with the doors open. All right, guys, so here's a side shot of where the stove sits. It basically fills one half of the vestibule area and leaving the other side for firewood so there is a, a lot of room the stove pipe does fit very nicely through the stove jack and what i mean by that is it's it's not too steep of an angle where the pipe's going to rub up against this flat i've got this rolled really loosely right now you can actually roll it much tighter so the pipe does clear everything there's no danger of melting there's no danger of heat transfer into the fabric it all goes right into the stove jack and it does it really, really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip this door shut. We'll go into the other end of the tent and we'll get an interior look at where the stove's placed. Okay guys, so coming inside of the tent, you can see we got the stove set up, going right out the stove jack, excellent spot. Um, one thing I'll mention, I would sleep closer that way so my head wouldn't be right in the stove. Just right now the camera's in the way, kind of a little difficult to film right now, but there is plenty of room, okay? You can fit two people in here lengthwise, no problem at all. Try and move down without kicking the tripod here. So you can see, I could reach into the stove. I can operate it, no problem at all. I could put wood in there. If I were in here by myself, I would maybe put my sleeping system on this side and then sit on that side. So I'd have a chair, maybe. I'd bring different gear or whatever I wanna bring, but I could be inside of the tent and be out of the rain, be out of the snow, have the stove, I can be able to cook and operate everything that I need to do right here, okay? Now, remember this whole door opens, this door opens, every panel in this tent can be opened, either by itself or with another panel, okay? So, what that means is I can open this panel right here and vent out the heat while I'm cooking, or I can open up this panel 
and vent out the heat while I'm cooking and have a nice view. So let's go ahead and open up one of the panels and I have two additional poles to actually stake this out like an awning. So let's go ahead and set that configuration up and you'll be able to see the stove from the, the outside and kind of the, the, whole, the whole picture. You'll be able to see the tent, the stove, everything in it and get a better idea of how you can use it. All right, so here we have the two additional poles set up. We got the roof pitched out like an awning. I've got my stove still in here. You can see the chimney popping out. This is an excellent way to enjoy being indoors but being outdoors. And I, I say that a lot because there, there are some shelters on the market that when you're indoors, you just feel like you're stuck inside of the tent. And I don't like that. When I'm out in a tent camping, I still like to feel like I'm outdoors. This configuration does that perfectly, okay? So I could be sitting here, got my wood stove, I could be cooking, I could be looking out at the lake, the river, whatever, wherever I'm at. I could pitch a chair out here, I could have my campfire out front of the awning. Really, really great setup. So this can be done on both sides. Like I said, every single panel on this tent is a door, including the stove jack, okay? So if I wasn't running a stove, I could open that up and I can open that up as well, okay? So there's endless possibilities. Uh, there's just, there's so many different configurations. Like I said, go on pomali.com and have a look at the photos that those guys have of the tent being set up. And there's just loads of different configurations. It's really awesome. All right, so I think I pretty much covered everything I wanted to touch on with this particular tent. Like I said, the configurations go on and on. It is a very large tent to get in in the winter time. If you did have snow gear on and you were here by yourself, you could get in the tent, get all your snow gear off without getting anything on your sleeping area. And you got the wood stove in there. You've got a hook up here to hang your lantern. You could also hang clothing bits like your toque or uh, your gloves or whatever off the inside of here, get it up in the heat channel. So if you did want to help dry some things out using the stove, you can do that. You can sit under here just like I am right now loads of options with this tent awesome 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 i really do enjoy it and the bug net i really do enjoy the bug net as well so like i said i'm not going to cover the specs the weight the size the measurements and all that jump on pomali.com they've got it all there loads of photos that i really highly recommend you check out because this thing is awesome <laughs> it, it really is you get tents that you can set up just as that tent this tent is like it's so many tents in one that it just it's easier to look at the photos than it is to, to show you in the video, okay? It, it really is. But um, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today on this particular tent. If you guys do have any questions, drop it down in the comment section, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, it's going to be a really fun winter. It's going to be really, really fun. So Pamali is currently working on a lot of new products. Um, I'm being taken along in the development stage of that stuff, which is always fun. So I've, I've had sneak peeks. I'm not going to tell you what it is until they release it. But all I can say is there's a lot of stuff coming. Okay. A lot of really great stuff. So this is the, probably the newest one. Uh, their tents are now coming out in a cotton canvas. So if you're not a fan of this 300 D, um, you can get their other tents in a canvas and I'm sure they, they may lean towards putting this in a canvas. Um, I can't say anything about it right yet, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So very happy with this tent. You will be seeing it more on the channel in fall and winter. I'm going to be using it in the summer too, actually. I'm going to be using it quite a bit over the summer. Take advantage of that large bug net area because it is really nice. So that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to say peace out and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.